doesn't love a Ferris wheel? A gigantic marvel that makes you feel like a kid again. During the day, their enormity is amazing. But at night, when their bright twinkling lights are set against the night sky, a Ferris wheel becomes something magical. Orange County, California is home to some of the most recognizable entertainment destinations in the country, including the Irvine Spectrum Center. Irvine Spectrum Center is over a million square feet of shopping and dining. Uh, it's one of the busiest centers really in the country. There are actually more people that visit the Irvine Spectrum in a year than there are that visit Disneyland. And at the center of it all, with its octagonal, Spanish-themed gondolas, is the 108-foot-tall giant wheel. Since its installation in 2002, it has become an iconic landmark, not only for the Irvine Spectrum Center, but all of Southern California. But the Irvine company realized very quickly that to continue to compete for guests' entertainment dollar, the giant wheel needed an update to remain as the primary attraction for the center. Enter the NECA IBEW team of Briggs Electric and IBEW Local 441. They came to our company and said, well, we've got this beautiful Ferris wheel. It's all incandescent, uh, old technology. How do we upgrade it and be more dynamic, uh, more engaging to the community, and to be forever evolving? However, this relatively simple request came with a number of challenging conditions. It always has to look like a Ferris wheel no matter what. So we did, they want to lose that tradition, which is really important. They said it had to be unique to them. Couldn't look like any other Ferris wheel on the planet. And then they said it had to be able to change by season, special events if they had any at this beautiful great lawn, or by holidays. We proposed the idea of the Irvine Company of going to an LED technology, of course, which could have a wide variety of colors, but then a mesh system, which is a four inch by four inch grid, that would then be applied to the wheel. With the design in place, it was time for the NECA IBEW team to turn this idea into a reality. In a situation like this, you always want to go to a known commodity, somebody you've known and worked with before, um, who you know has the depth of resources, the capability, the engineering background, and all of the help from every different place that you might need as you come along. IBEW and NECA together have a great working relationship and an ability to address any contract question that comes up. We were able to modify, change our agreements, um, come up with, with new answers to problems. We're not stuck in our old traditions, our old ways of doing things. We can change and adapt to whatever it is that the customer needs. We always say we are the best, so we have to be the best. And our training and our education and our safety is second to none. There are many other affiliates out there that have apprenticeship programs. They cannot compare to ours. With the electrical team in place, the project then turned to how to complete the work on the great wheel. So we started looking at it and trying to think out of the box and find a way where we can get enough men up there and where they can be productive. And that's when we came up with the scaffolding concept and put scaffolding around all, both sides of the wheel up to just above halfway point. So now we could put as many guys as we wanted to up on that scaffolding. We're running two man shifts, uh, eight hour days per shift. So we got here at four in the morning, I think. And then we overlapped by one hour with everybody to transition. With the scaffolding solution allowing Briggs Electric to maximize productivity, they understood that work on the great wheel presented a number of safety challenges. From a safety standpoint though, um, we started from the very beginning to go over and above and beyond, so that's what we brought in the harnesses, the yo-yos, and the extra safety precautions. Jeff and Brad implemented a safety protocol for us to rotate the wheel. I'd have to go up, um, talking to the microphone up there, let the guys know that we're clear right, clear left, everybody looked around, make everybody yell clear back to us before we'd actually rotate the wheel. With the safety protocols in place, the electrical team could turn their attention to solving some other unique challenges. Cable management was a huge deal because we have all this technology. We have more than 52,000 diodes on this wheel where we originally had 12,000 lights. So all this new cable management discussion had to be had of where do we hide all this runs? Which way for the power to move continuously so that you never told uh, or revealed the magic of the wheel? We were not allowed to drill or screw anything onto the wheel. So everything had to be strapped or glued. So we had to come up with uh, strapping and glues, 
and other brackets that had to be custom made. But we still had to be cautious of, we couldn't talk very loud or even yell like you might normally do on a job site because you had public around. So we worked with our guys and, and they're all professional and professionally trained through the IBW and it worked out perfect. After six weeks of work, the revitalized giant wheel made its debut in June of 2015. Through the innovative and high quality work of the NECA IBEW team, the Great Wheel returned to its rightful place as one of the region's most iconic landmarks. Briggs, what was so impressive, I mean, they're a union contractor, so when you start there, you know instantly, I don't have to talk or worry about the data that they're telling me as a designer. We could truly focus in on a project. If they didn't exist, this would just be an incandescent wheel, I'm sure of it. <laughs> We have two freeways, one on either side of the center, so have incredible visibility of the wheel and drawing visibility to the center on both sides of, of the wheel. Plaza, it fills up at night with people. They want to see what the wheel's going to do, what its capabilities are. That's it for this edition. From Southern California, I'm Dominic Giratano. We'll see you next time. Like what you've just seen? Click any of the buttons on the right and they'll instantly play. Click to visit us on our social media accounts, subscribe to our website or our YouTube channels. Stay engaged by staying connected to ETV.